Hey YouTube, Freedom for Cats here. Hey, how's everyone doing out there? How are you folks in California doing? I bet you guys are a little nervous right now, and that's to be expected. Here it is. It's been one week since the explosion of the the reactors in Japan, the earthquake, the tsunami, the big giant mess, and now it seems as though there's a a cover up of information and. A lot of people don't know really what the truth is and what is fact and what is fiction. But I think a lot of people here are shedding the light and the truth on what's really going on. And here's something else that I found on Fox News that I found rather interesting. I made a video a few days ago about the severity of the accident. Now on the international scale for nuclear accidents, it's a scale of going from 1 to 7 on that scale. And a few days ago, on the international scale, this accident was rated at about a 5 to 6 on the scale that goes from 1 to 7. Well, look what I found here. This is kind of interesting. Check this out. It says here, external power line connected to crippled nuke plant as Japan reaches out to U.S. Okay, now this talks about how they're trying to get the power, the power hooked up to all the units and they're trying to get them going but look at this line right here it says Japan's nuclear safety agency has raised the rating of the country's nuclear accident from four to five on a seven level international scale well that's kind of odd because considering that other countries had already added at a five and even a six Japan only had it at a level 4 and they've just recently raised it to number 5 which is kind of surprising because right here it says right here it says the hallmarks of a level 5 emergency are severe damage to a re reactor core re release of large quantities of radiation with a high probability of si significant public exposure or several deaths from radiation. The alert level applied to reactors 1, 2, and 3 at the troubled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Okay, well, now that they raise it up to number 5, it doesn't make any sense because a lot of the other places already had it at 5 and they are reaching towards 6. And here's one of them. This article says, Quake ravaged Japan battles against nuclear meltdown, and this was on March 15th, okay? Now let's scroll down here, and it says right here. France's ANS Nuclear Safety Authority said the accident could be classified at a level 5 or 6 on the international scale of 1 to 7, putting it on par with the 1979 U.S. Three Mile Island meltdown. This rating is higher than the Japanese authorities' rating. Why is that? Why is Japan rating this so low? Why is Japan looking at it like it's not so important as it is to other countries? Okay, now let's look at this one. Update, and again, March 14th from several days ago. Two French nuclear agencies rate Japan accident a 5 or a 6. And it's right here, smack dab. They say almost the exact same thing. Okay. On Monday, the nuclear accident in Japan could be classified as a level 5 or 6 on a scale of 1 to 7. Why is Japan just now raising it to a level 5 when it could be at least a level 6 by now? There's got to be more to this somewhere. Oh, what's this link? Japan's nuclear power industry has history of scandals. Hmm. What does this say? This here says, it's very interesting. And from Tokyo, behind Japan's escalating nuclear crisis sits a scandal-ridden energy industry and a comfy relationship with government, regulator, government, government regulators often willing to overlook safety lapses, leaks at radioactive steam and workers contaminated with radiation are just a part of the disturbing catalog of accidents that have occurred over the years and have 
been belatedly reported to the public, if reported at all. In one case, workers hand-mixed uranium in stainless steel buckets instead of it being processed by a machine, so the fuel could be reused, thus exposing hundreds of workers to radiation. Two people died later. This is rather interesting, and this is just a hallmark of the, the situation that is going on with Japan. Now, a former nuclear power plant engineer in Japan said everything is a secret. There's not enough transparency in this industry. Okay? Well, all these links are going to be below. You guys check them out. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment. But I want, I've got two more links here having to deal with California. Okay? Now, check this one out. EPA deploys more radiation monitors to the West Coast. Okay? The monitors, right here. This is where I'm at. The monitors which detect gamma radiation and radioactive particles will be set up in parts of the western U.S. and U.S. territories, the agency said in the statement. Now listen to this. EPA officials, however, refuse to answer questions and or make staff available to explain the exact location and the number of monitors or the levels of radiation. If any radiation being recorded at existing monitors in California, Margaret Perez Sullivan, a spokeswoman at the EPA regional headquarters in San Francisco, said the agency's written statement would stand on its own. So basically what they're telling you is, is if they do find radiation, they're not going to tell you what the number is anyway. So, and it says right here in this sentence here, critics said the public needs more information. They need to be more forthcoming. Yes, the EPA is monitoring everything, but they're not going to tell you. And lastly here, I found this. This is a an updated map. And right here, I don't know if you can see that, but this area going towards Alaska, Alaska was supposedly hit first before anybody. I didn't hear anything about Alaska being hit first. Okay? And, and, and I, I don't understand. This link to this map is going to be underneath. And this is a fantastic story here, too. I, I really suggest that you guys read this story. It, it, it is great. It, it, you know, and I just don't understand. I, I just don't get the cover-up. Why is the media covering all this up? Why are they not telling us the truth? I just don't understand that part. Why can't the EPA be, be forthcoming, telling everybody what to do, what to prepare for? This map and all the links will be underneath. Please check them out.